Over the past decades, the Fast and Furious franchise has evolved into a genuine cultural phenomenon, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Filled with gripping narratives, this film series has garnered global acclaim from audiences. Plans to conclude the fame series in a trilogy have recently been announced. Louis Leterrier is set to direct, while Christina Hodson, known for her work on Birds of Prey, and Oren Uziel, who contributed to Mortal Kombat, have been tasked with penning the screenplay for the upcoming installment. As Fast 11 makes its slow progress into production, following delays caused by last year's Hollywood strikes, all signs point to an active continuation of work on the movie. Oren Uziel, having previously contributed to the franchise, has taken on the task of penning the script for Fast 11. The events of Fast X left Dominic Toretto in a predicament, facing off against the cunning of Dante brought to life by Jason Momoa. Contrary to expectations, it's unlikely Momoa will return in the new movie, highlighting the complexity of his character, which has drawn criticism for being overly dark for the series. Dante, however, is expected to make a return in a spin-off dedicated to Luke Hobbs, played by Dwayne Johnson. This will serve as a platform for further development and a potential confrontation with the character. The decision to bring Zack Dean on board to script the new Fast and Furious suggests an ambition to inject fresh ideas and directions into the narrative, potentially revitalizing the franchise and broadening its audience. However, until official details and plans are disclosed, it remains speculative as to what specific innovations Dean might introduce to the Fast and Furious story. This week, Vin Diesel, the star and producer of the franchise, took to social media to share the latest news about the continuation of the saga. He described the current stage of the project's development as incredibly powerful, sparking immense interest and anticipation among fans. Diesel shared his impressions after a recent meeting with the Fast 11 scriptwriting team and all project participants, expressing extraordinary excitement about the upcoming series finale. He portrayed this meeting as a source of great inspiration and excitement, emphasizing that the level of enthusiasm among all those present was truly off the charts. As the team dispersed for the weekend, filled with inspiration and anticipation, Diesel reflected on the role that viewers have played in the development of this franchise. He expressed gratitude for the unwavering enthusiasm and passion of the fans, who have been a key element in the success and evolution of Fast Saga, noting that their commitment had a unique impact on the film series. Diesel shared the thought that this finale is not just the last part of the story, but rather a celebration of the vast and unique family created together with the fans. He expressed hope that fans would be proud of what has been achieved, underscoring that their support was fundamental to the global success of the saga. Currently, specific details about the plot and cast of the upcoming Fast 11 remain unclear. Yet based on Vin Diesel's comments, it's confirmed that movie will indeed serve as the concluding installment of the main series. Following the closure of this chapter, the franchise is expected to be rejuvenated with a new cast, paving the way for the next next generation of stories within this thrilling cinematic universe. The financial disappointment of Fast X, despite it being one of the box office hits of 2023 with earnings of 714 million, failing to cover its substantial budget exceeding 300 million bucks, led to significant strategic changes at Universal. Jeff Snyder, a well-known insider, revealed that Zack Dean will be crafting the script for a new chapter in the Fast and Furious franchise. This forthcoming installment could represent not just another spin-off, but a complete reboot of the entire saga. Fast 11 is anticipated to bring a close to Dominic's story and his family, paving the way for the saga to move forward without Vin Diesel and other iconic characters, effectively leaving them in the past. A key factor leading to the decision for a reboot lies in the high cost of the original series' star-studded cast, which significantly inflated production budgets. The studio now aims to refresh the lineup, bringing in less well-known but talented actors, potentially reducing expenses and possibly steering this iconic franchise in a new direction. At this stage, the script for Fast 11, being developed by Oren Uziel and Christina Hodson, continues to evolve, receiving positive feedback from Universal for its wealth of promising ideas. However, the studio does not consider this project a priority at the moment. Universal's attention is currently focused on another project that acts as a bridge between the franchise's current events and its future. This intermediary film is centered on the character Hobbs, once again played by Dwayne Johnson, with Chris Morgan, the screenwriter of Fast and Furious 4, joining the project. 
project. One reason Dante portrayed by Jason Momoa might be removed from the storyline before Fast and Furious 11 begins is the studio's desire to phase out this character and potentially use his departure as a pivotal moment in the backstory or development of the bridge narrative. This emphasizes significant shifts in the dynamics and direction of the entire series. Meanwhile, Zack Dean is working on an important project within the Fast and Furious universe. Although Jeff Snyder speculated that Dean might be finalizing the script for Fast 11 or the second Hobbs and Shaw movie, there's also a chance his project could initiate a new saga. This new narrative is likely to evolve without Dominic and other familiar characters offering fans of the new stories and characters for the next generation of viewers. The decision to conclude the Fast saga with a two-part finale reflects a significant narrative and strategic shift for Universal Studios. By dividing the final story arc into two segments, the studio is not just prolonging the farewell but ensuring that the narrative's closure is both comprehensive and satisfying. The tenth installment's abrupt ending, leaving the series without a definitive conclusion, marks a departure from the franchise's tradition of self-contained stories with only subtle hints at future developments. This has sparked debate among fans and critics alike, who have expressed a range of reactions to the unexpected narrative decision. However, this technique underscores the creator's intent to provide a detailed and layered ending to the saga that has captivated audiences since 2001. Universal's plan to release the sequel promptly is a response to the anticipation and expectations of the franchise's loyal fanbase. The studio aims to deliver an ending that not only ties up the series' numerous plot lines and character arcs, but also respects the depth and legacy of the Fast and Furious universe. Extending the saga's conclusion over two films allows for a richer, more emotionally resonant storytelling experience. This approach ensures that each character's journey is fully explored, with adequate time devoted to resolving each subplot thereby avoiding any sense of rush or incompleteness. Moreover, this expanded narrative space provides an opportunity to delve deeper into the complexities of the Toretto family and their rivals, enhancing the series' world-building. It also opens up possibilities for future spin-offs or related narratives, ensuring that while the saga may be coming to an end, the Fast and Furious universe has the potential to continue evolving and expanding. Through this two-part finale, Universal Studios aims to offer fans a fitting and memorable conclusion to a series that has become a defining feature of modern cinematic storytelling. This potential new direction spearheaded by Zack Dean represents an exciting evolution for the franchise, indicating Universal's willingness to explore fresh territories and ideas. By moving beyond the familiar faces and plots, the franchise could introduce a new roster of characters, each with their own unique backgrounds, motivations, and relationships. This shift not only rejuvenates the series, but also opens up a myriad of storytelling possibilities, allowing for the exploration of new themes, settings, and challenges that resonate with a modern audience audience. Furthermore, the introduction of new characters and stories provides an opportunity to diversify the franchise's cast and narrative scope. It could incorporate more global perspectives, reflecting the series' international appeal and fan base. By doing so, Universal can continue to build on the Fast and Furious legacy while ensuring its relevance and appeal to a broad demographic of viewers. In essence, while Fast 11 aims to conclude the storylines of beloved characters, the groundwork is being laid for the next chapter in the franchise's history. With new crew at the helm, fans can look forward to a continuation, deep emotional connections, and thrilling action that have become synonymous with Fast Saga. This strategic pivot promises to propel the franchise into its next era, ensuring its enduring popularity and success.